garden pole. It's against the law. And it's dangerous. We'd be setting a bad example. <laughs> then it's unanimous. Oh, yeah! yeah! Ta-da! The Morning, Vincent. Ah, oh, Toulouse, you are here at last. Yeah, Gauguin said you wanted to see me. Yeah, yeah, Claire and I, we had a big fight last night. Ah, yeah. Here, I want you to take this tour. Tell our lover, oh, that I'm very, very sorry. What is it, marzipan? No, uh, just give it to her and tell her I'm sorry. It's marzipan. Can no, I not. have one piece? No, Toulouse. Come on, one lousy no, piece. No, Toulouse, don't open the box! Secretary. Not mercy, Ben. What is it? It's my ear. <laughs> Gross merit out! What did you do? Cut yourself, Shady! I did it for Claire to make her feel bad. Oh, she'll feel bad. She'll burp when she says this. Look, this is our lover's message. What kind of message is that? Wish you were here? What's <laughs> oh, that? Are you here? It is clear. What will I say? What will I do? I like a phone rang. Yeah. And you answered the blender by mistake. <laughs> Clues! I haven't seen much of you lately. <laughs> so, Claire, what brings you to our room with no bed? I just come back to pick up a few personal things. If that's all right with you, Vesa! Oh, sure, sure! No need to bite his ear off. <laughs> Claire, darling. Awful fight we had last night. I'm so sorry. I, I want to make up. You do? We bought you a present. <gasps> no, no. I... Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> My words exactly. I wonder what it could be. It's not marzipan. <laughs> it's a human being's ear. This is it. Well, I grew it myself. Trust <laughs> <laughs> me, right up. Oh, but well, it means we're going to get married. Oh, I love you. Huh? I love you. What? She said, I love you. <laughs> Down here on the farm, our crops are usually pollinated by bees. But some years, there aren't as many bees as others. So we pollinate them crops ourselves. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,
When a bee finds flowers, it returns to the hive and does a special dance which tells the other bees where the flowers are. So do we. Keeping up a bee's job sure keeps you hopping. <laughs> Everybody knows bees live in hives. We take pollinating very seriously, so we're best left alone. You don't want to make us angry. Of course, this year, the bees are around, so there ain't no need to act like bees. But our rooster died, so there's plenty of work in that respect. <laughs> Is my niece a pretty little girl? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Does her diapers need changing? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Does she want her Uncle Wiki to change her diapers? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Uncle Wiki's gonna let his sister change her own. Operation code name thermonuclear war is now at full red X alert DEFCOM 4. Bombers are reaching fail safe point, General. Tell General Waster to give the go ahead. Two minutes to missile launch. General Waistrin's gone home, General. Gone home? But he has to approve the final orders to begin the attack. Get General Waistrin on the visible! General Waistrin, do you have any idea what would happen if we started Armageddon without the proper paperwork? <laughs> We'd never hear the end of it! General Waistrin, General! General, where the hell are you? Well, you should know, General, you called me. Do you have any idea what day it is today, General? Wednesday? Now what does Wednesday mean to you? Barbecue! <laughs> Anything else? Now, think hard. One, One minute of missile, missile launch. launch. I, I draw a blank, General. <laughs> well, let me give you a little hint. <laughs> Boom! Boom! Hey, Boom! <laughs> we were going golfing. <laughs> the end of the world, you ninny! World War Three. I thought that was Kamora night. <laughs> My staff is supposed to keep these dates open. I mean, that's why I bought you all your Smurf calendars. 30 seconds to a missile launch. These might be shred. I'm, I'm sorry, General. Can we do it another night? Oh, how's Friday for everybody here? Friday? It's fine. Friday's fine. The wife and I do groceries Friday. I'm free Saturday. No, no can do. My granddaughter has a piano recital Saturday. <laughs> Well, we'll just have to postpone the surprise attack until next week. Oh, uh, any night but Tuesday, I have Shriners. Five <laughs> seconds to a missile launch. launch. Four, three, two, one. The cats on the attack for call the horses. <laughs> well, the world isn't going to end now, Waster. And it's all your fault. <laughs> Sorry, General. <laughs> we have got to get a bulletin board around here. Then sit up straight. What nice little soldiers. Up straight. <laughs> what have we got this morning? Emergency. Huh? Very serious. Dieter Hohenberger, the Belgian race car driver, was in a racing accident. Massive internal injuries, fractures, contusions, severe blood loss. All right, he's on his way, doctor. Ready, doctor. Let's do it. All right, let's back him up. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, oh, no. There we go. Get it out. Oh, oh holy cow. All right, give us the new one. Whoa, look at that. Japanese turbo. All right, now, gently. Put that in there. Put that in there. Yeah, got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Let's get some fresh arms in there. Come on, side. Come on, side. Come on, side.
Hello, I'm Mr. Interesting. Here's something I find very interesting. We all know that if God had intended us to fly, he would have given us wings. So God must surely have intended us to vomit since he gave us Jiren Jiren. Yeah. Honey. Who is it? It's me, Teddy. Can I come in? I'm no Teddy. You know it's bad luck to see the bride before the wedding. Why? No reason. It's just bad luck, that's all. <laughs> George, what's the matter with your shoe? Oh, Harvey Plunkett's damn dog again. Oh, poor dear, here, have a very dry martini. All right, what have you bought? George, how can you say such a thing? Because I know you, Blanche. What useless thing did you buy now? It's not useless, George. Ah, uh -huh. where is it? In the backyard. But first, let me explain. George! It's the USS Iowa, George. The biggest battleship in the world. Come on. Before you say no, take a look around. You'll really love it. You bought a real battleship? Well, the American Navy was scrapping its obsolete ships, and the Iowa goes with our furniture. How much? George. Spoil everything. Give it a chance. Look, look at these cute round windows. How much? Three billion. Dollars! Go, pay for it. Visa. I had to go a little over the limit. Look, there's a nice chair here. You can sit in the sun. Believe it. My wife just purchased more naval power than Argentina. You're mad, aren't you, George? Blanche, I'm stunned. I come home and I find the Bismarck on my freshly seeded lawn. No, George, it's not the Bismarck. It's the Iowa. What's the diff? The Iowa's bigger than the Bismarck. <laughs> Let me show you the bridge. Isn't this the perfect place for a workroom? I have a workroom. I don't need a three billion dollar workroom. You're just mad because I thought of it first. No, Blanche. Blanche. Blanche, how many times have I told you? Never buy a large dreadnought without phony and checking with me first. Now what are we going to do when the credit company comes around for its first ten million dollar installment? We'll blast them. <laughs> what? You thought I wasn't thinking ahead. <laughs> the man at the shipyard told me the bow guns can lob a shell 30 miles. And we got plenty of smaller guns. Oh. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Hi, George. Hi, Larry. This your ship? The USS Iowa. Yeah. Wish I could afford it. Is it true that it can take eight direct hits without sinking? Well, I don't know about Boy, that. Boy, great place for a workroom. Yeah. And the deck chairs back there for sitting in the sun. Well, Mind yeah. if I check out your 18-inch guns? No, no. <laughs> Did you see his face? <laughs> Mr. one up ship can't beat this ship. His little sailboat's gonna look pretty tame next to this baby. Does that mean you're not mad at me anymore, George? Mad? Don't be silly, Blanche. <coughs> now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go astern and drop a depth charge right on Harvey Plunkett's damn dog. <laughs> 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 you know, there is nothing I like better than playing poker with people who really know how to play. Okay, there's one thing I like better, playing poker with people who have no idea how to play. And amateur poker players are pretty easy to spot. First of all, they haven't mastered the poker face. <laughs> there are other ways to tell if people are amateur poker players, like the kind of poker they play. Okay, twos, fours, and sixes are wild. 
Red queens are wild, one-eyed jacks are wild, kings and little ones are wild, sevens are wild, nines and wa are wild, and tens are wild. And aces are wild. Right. And yeah. <laughs> As well, amateur poker players aren't up on every nuance of the game. What does two fours beat? <laughs> okay, do we bet first or show our cards first? I got a joker. Oh, five aces. I got ten aces. <laughs> Go fish. But even the best professional poker player has to learn how to be a gracious loser. Gotcha. <laughs> I live this again. <laughs> Why don't we play with my cards for a while? Hmm? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Honey, the socks are done. Hey, are you in there? That means yes, Chief. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Kane, you're surrounded. Throw out your gun and surrender. No, Chief. All right, Kane. Surrender or else. Or else what, Cop? Or else we're coming in to kiss you. <laughs> what? You heard me. My men will storm the house and kiss you. No, Saber! Real juicy kisses, too. Big smackers. My SWAT team can kiss real good. I'm not kissing, cop! We just fight with guns! Those are the rules! I make the rules, Chief, and my lips are pursed. <laughs> are you afraid to die? Yeah, we know. But are you afraid of a little smooching? Yes! Yeah, this city's seen enough violence. Time for some sucking face. What next? What do you say? Pucker up or surrender? All right! All right, I'm right, Carlos! Don't kiss me! Sorry, man. I tried. Aww. How to tell if someone is wearing dentures. get our burgers at the drive through window? Are you kidding, Jaime? If we walked in the front door, those chip waitresses would get a nose full of our pungent male musk, and they'd just go mad. You think so? Their entire epidermis would suddenly start deep frying. I hope those drive through vixens can handle our hot stud voice action. Hello, my name is Sue. Welcome to Burger Cathedral. May I take your order? Oh, listen to that dribbling craving in her voice. She's going mad in there. She's going to have to take the ice from her drinks and pour it down her blouse. Talk about hold the pickle. <laughs> Hello, may I take your order? She's gone over the edge. My stallion lover has driven her into permanent ecstasy overdrive. I'm sure her patties are charcoal broiling. Hello. Hello, can I take your order? Listen to the carnal want in her voice. She's gone into like chicky woo heaven or something. We'd better not order. If she hears her lumberjack voices, she's going to crawl through the intercom. She'll break us in half just quenching her mad chick desire. Let's roll. Boy, women are strange, Lou. Whenever we see them face to face, they ignore us. But as soon as our backs are turned, they, they go, go mad. <laughs> On 
a tropical island. We dance all day by the sea. We eat the banana and the mango and discuss psychology. Jojo got Oedipus complex, so many suppressed emotions. Mama is oral compulsive, Papa just swim in the ocean. Freddy thinks Freud is the answer. He tells the boy Jung is a fool. He laughs at collective unconscious, dismissed behavioral school. <laughs> Everybody smile and dance and laugh on a tropical paradise. Cause fisherman and reggae man are all psychoanalyzed. We lie in the shade when the sun's high, drink coconut milk when it's hot. We don't want primal or gestalt here, we interpret raw shagging blots. We are in touch with our feelings, we are in touch with our fears. We are fixated with boredom, intimidated by real. If we have fears, we confront them, no we don't ever avoid.